here we go. And I'm, I hope to keep somebody warm and happy. <laughs> and we all have things that we don't need that other people need. I, I know it's a very, very important thing for all of us to think about that, uh, make donations. This is the time of year uh, to make other people feel good. And they are very much appreciated. I recently learned of a very serious health environmental issue, which I had to share with you today. Um, every day, three billion people, mostly women, prepare food for their families on unsafe cook stoves. The harmful smoke kills nearly two million people a year and sickens millions more. Uh, the good news is that there are solutions. The Global Alliance for Clean Cook Stoves, now it, it, I mean, you never think that it's your cook stove that's killing you. You wouldn't even think of it when you're home and working on your nice stove in your nice clean kitchen, but it's, it's killing millions of people a year. Uh, the Global Alliance for Clean Cook Stoves is affiliated with the United Nations Foundation, and they are trying to raise awareness about this issue. Here to tell us more are Lisa Jackson, who is the administrator of the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, and Aaron Sharon, Sharon Indian, uh, direct, Executive Director of Communications and Public Affairs for the UN Foundation. Thank you both for being here. Really nice. Thank you. Um, so, um, I, yeah, I, I, Ted Turner, who founded the UN Foundation with his gigantic $1 billion gift a few years ago, um, had a meeting with me recently and told me about the cook stove issue. And um, so t you tell us, Aaron, because uh, you're working really closely with Ted on, at, the, at the Foundation. Tell us about this problem. Ted's vision inspires all of us to take action to help the United Nations solve some of the biggest problems right. in the world. So we're here to shed light on one of the biggest problems, but least talked about problems in the world. As you mentioned, something that we take for granted, something as simple as cooking our meal for our families, we're all going to do it today. That is something that's not only dangerous, but deadly for women and families around the world. And we need people to know about it and start talking about it today. And so you have pictures here. I mean, all that smoke is just going straight into the eyes and the lungs of the young child there, rubbing his eyes. And uh, I have traveled a lot in many, many underdeveloped countries, and I've seen this. And yet I didn't really focus on the fact that, oh, isn't it nice to be cooking on a, on a wood stove, <laughs> on a wood fire? <laughs> and, you know, sometimes you just think that I, I could do that. And instead think mm, she shouldn't be doing that. She could really use something more simple and more healthy, right? There are solutions available. And the danger that you outlined, imagine if we were to bring into this beautiful kitchen an open pit barbecue right yeah. now. Imagine the soot that accumulates. Oh, yeah, imagine terrible. what it feels like in your lungs and what it does to your children around you. The amount of pollution, the amount of fumes that we're taking in. Exactly. There are solutions, however, that you mentioned. And now's the time. We're at a tipping point where we can make that change. And another thing, uh, women spend a good part of the day in many of these countries looking for wood looking for wood to burn uh, so they can cook their meals. Here's this lady who spent probably hours of a day maybe taking her little children with her. Uh, she can meet real problems on, when, on her search for wood, can't she? That's right, in a conflict country, yes. she can be putting herself at risk. And oftentimes it's young girls who are charged with gathering that fuel. Right. So instead of being in school and learning and opening up opportunities, they are now either putting their lives at risk or um, uh, at risk of rape or something like that. And there's also a very serious environmental uh, result uh, right. occurring with this because they're cutting down trees that shouldn't be cut down, right? There's certainly deforestation. You know, this soot is as if the toxins weren't bad enough. It's also those emissions are contributing to global warming. And many yeah. families, it's the only source of energy. So the one thing that they are able to do for their families is not only poisoning them, but also poisoning our atmosphere. Right. Oh, it's just a, it's a very, very major problem. And uh, So what is the Global Alliance uh, for Clean Cook Stoves doing? The Global Alliance for Clean Cook Stoves is a bold new initiative brings together partners that are governments, including the leadership of Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, the government of Peru, Norway, Denmark, Germany, brings together businesses like Morgan Stanley and Shell. It brings together United Nations agencies, people who can really have an impact on helping to raise awareness, train, and develop the research so that these cleaner stoves, cleaner options, can be in the hands and the hearts of the people. So you the actually world. brought some stoves to show us what they look like. These simple, simple appliances uh, can really start to clean up the atmosphere, uh, can really uh, preserve the forest, 
and save many millions of lives. So uh, do you want to go through these? Certainly. There are, are three examples here of the hundreds of stoves that are available. And these are simple solutions that we want to make sure are durable, efficient, and affordable for people Now, these don't the need any external power. There are some that do and there are some okay. that don't. The one that we're looking at right yeah. now, Martha, mm -hmm. this stove has a unique feature, which is a fan, which we can see in the front, and specialized venting on the side, which means the cooking is happening more efficiently. Oh, it okay. is heating up more efficiently, which takes down the time necessary. What's the to fuel? Cook. This particular model uses a very an, an ingenious solution, which is a pellet, which is brought from nut extract and other products. So it's a cleaner fuel that's okay. being used, which produces less fumes, which means less damage to the woman's health and the family's health in, in, in the kitchen of the heart. Okay. And uh, but what about this one? This the internal chamber. This stove is an is an interesting model because what it does is it utilizes a special metal alloy inside of the stove which means that the combustion or the heating that's happening happens quicker, happens more efficiently. It uses less fuel, which means less time for the woman or the oh, daughter to have to go out and collect some of the fuel. She's using it right now. Yeah. And as you can see, there is a reduction in the pollution that's coming into her home. That means that as she sits over the stove for hours, she's not having to do it while she's inhaling something that's going to help her. And she's still, burn, she's still burning wood. Yeah, but she's using a lot less. Oh, okay. And so the oh. time that she's saving is actually really money and development opportunities for her family. And you think about it. What can they use? I mean, they, it's, it's just it's just fuel, and it's this. Oh, it's just. Well, in this particular case, a family easy. might be using, for example, corn cobs or wood or sticks or whatever is available. But what happens with this particular model, which is quite simple and quite affordable, is it allows them the opportunity to use less of it. Looks it just like a faster. bucket fitted with. With some cast iron and clay. And it's important to, to recognize that what we're trying to do, as Secretary Clinton said, we're trying to make sure that these stoves fit seamlessly into traditional home cooking. Right. And so as people around the world cook very different things for their families, we want to make sure that these options these are appropriate. These people do not have microwaves, <laughs> and they do not have little packets of food to put in those microwaves. They, they're, really, they're eating healthy food for the most part, but they have to prepare it in a healthy way. And the important thing is that cooking shouldn't kill, and it doesn't have to. Exactly. So what can we do to help? There's an important thing that we need to do right now, and that is to put this issue on the top of the global agenda. We're asking everyone to go to www.cleancookstoves.org, where we're asking people to add their voice. They're joining Lisa. They're joining you. They're joining all of us who realize that there are options available. We've got to start the movement that tells people that this issue matters to you, it matters to all of us who cook for our families. At www.cleancookstoves.org, there's ways for people to in, uh, inform themselves, learn and share with their friends through Facebook and Twitter, post it, talk about it, make sure that people around the world know that you want to give your resources or your time so that this agenda is, is an agenda that helps women and children. And we certainly will try to help. And uh, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for taking your time, Lisa. Lisa has such a busy job, and, and she is really doing a very incredibly important job uh, worldwide. This is, important. This oh, is, is a important. women's issue, a children's issue, yeah. an economic issue. Well, so thank, thank you, you for, for taking your time, and, uh, and thank you, Alan, very much.